Hiram here. Digitizer 101 sent me one of his Monster Energy alcohol stoves to play with. So I thought maybe that's what I'd do today. What he sent me was in a cool little package like this with a couple of wristbands or whatever you call these things. With a hose. Short hose. This is a feeder type stove. I'm going to use a heat bottle with methanol in it. These are handy little bottles to keep once you've used up the heat. Oh, before I took this apart, this whole package with the rubber bands, the top, the hose, weighs 104 point, 100, rather 105.4 grams or 3.72 ounces. So we have the two bands, the feeder hose with a cap, I think this is a dentine uh, gum jar, whatever you want to call it, with this little squishy pot on the top, and the stove is stuck in here like this. So you take that out. There's the, now I call it a burner really, rather than a stove. I don't mean to contradict them, but to me this is a, a burner because it doesn't have anything to put the pot on. So you need a stove to go with this. This actually has two levels to it. The way this is set up right now, this is for a big flame. And then this comes off, just like so. This piece, this piece of carbon felt goes in here like this. And then you have a smaller flame. Pretty cool. What I'm going to try is a boil test with each size. See what happens. They also said you could just put this lid that was on here on the bottom of this and then a Pringles can on the top of this to seal it off so whatever alcohol you have left in here doesn't get all over your gear. Now I'll put a link down in the text area to his video. So it also comes with this, can you see it, a little piece of hose to close off the import here, the little jet where the alcohol goes into the stove. So this hose just gets put on like so. There, just, yep, just like that. And then this gets put onto whatever bottle you have. Now he looks like he uses smaller bottles but I'm gonna try with this heat because it fits on the same size I'm just gonna have to play around with how I fill up the stove so what you do is you just squeeze the bottle watching the alcohol go into the stove now I can see the liquid there and it's up on the carbon felt I'm not sure how far how full you're supposed to make this without a valve on this it's a little hard to regulate it let's see what happens with that okay where can I put the bottle let me turn this stove around go at it this way okay can you still see that what we'll do is light this give you an idea what it looks like so that's the small flame not bad Okay, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to put the West Wind pot stand on this. Fits on like that. Looks like it gives about the right height. Okay, I have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes.
there we have 210, 211, come on, 212 at 935, pretty cool. Now, this was this is the first test. I should have explained some more things. I was kind of antsy to give this a try. This was the smaller of the two burners on this. He has a larger one that I'll try next. This is made out of an energy drink can, the tops of them, and some other pieces. He has some nice videos showing how he makes them. Let me see if I can blow this out. Yep, blows right out. So anyway, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 9 minutes and 35 seconds. I think that would be a pretty good, probably a pretty good simmer. So what I'm going to do is let this all cool off. I'll change the burner, put the larger one on, and then we'll do this test again and compare the two. I'm willing to bet this will make a whole lot bigger flame than that will. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so everything's cooled off. What I have to do now to change this over to the bigger burner is take out this carbon felt ring that I put in. Oh, could you see that? There you go. It just fits in there. Now he has carbon felt coming up through the center, and then this just goes in there when it's using the small burner. What really surprises me is the plastic is still left in there from the energy drink box cans and it doesn't melt down. I really thought it would. Interesting stuff. So anyway, then you get the bigger burner, take the bottom cap off. This is the same cap that this is made out of, except he's punched a hole through it and put carbon felt in it. You can see there's carbon felt here. Oops. Fall, fell out. So this fits on to this and the carbon felt here comes up through this hole and then there's a piece of carbon felt on the top of this. This ought to be interesting. So this just gets put on like so. Push down in there. Okay, I take my alcohol bottle again and I squeeze some alcohol in hopefully it gets seen on the top got a little leak here on this lid okay I can see alcohol coming out the carbon felt has alcohol on it Let's just let that soak a minute, second or two rather. I don't know, can you see the shiny there of the alcohol? Now the thing is, when I take pressure off, it just goes right back down in. So you got to undo the cap to let the air in so that you don't just suck out all of the alcohol that you put in there. Okay, so do the West Wind burner, the pot stand. Now this make in my mind, like I said in earlier videos, this is the stove. This is the pot stand and a burner. Both of them together make a stove. So even though he calls this a stove, I call it a, a burner, the monster can burner. Now that I belittled them, didn't mean to, sorry. Uh, scratch that, please. So what we'll do here is light this. Can you see that? Looks like a much bigger flame. And I'll have to play with the flow of alcohol into that. Okay, I think that's going. I have two cups of water here setting at 61 degrees this time, just one degree off. Put that on there, start the timer, and let's see where this goes.
basket here we have 210, 211, 12 at 659. Not bad. Let me just take this off. I don't know if you can see it. Whoops, looks like it's running out of alcohol. So all you do is you just take the bottle, squeeze it, get some alcohol in the stove like that and take off the vacuum off the hose so that it burns so not bad I thought maybe it might go a little bit quicker than that but the first one with the small burner oops, turn the light on with the small burner which is just the cap part of this stove it brought two cups of water to a boil starting at 60 degrees in 9 minutes and 35 seconds. With this larger burner, it brought two cups starting at 61 degrees to a boil in 6 minutes and 59 seconds. So it's, you know, two and a half, three minutes quicker. I thought it would be faster. Part of the thing could be that maybe this isn't the optimum height for this. With this, when the pot was on here, it's about one and a quarter inches from the burner to the bottom of the pot. Maybe I need a shorter pot stand, a hardware, hardware cloth pot stand to bring the pot down a little bit. But still, that's not bad. Nine minutes, 35 seconds for the small one and 6.59 for the large one to get two cups of water to a boil. Hmm. So I thank Digitizer 101 for sending me the stove to play with. I'll be doing some more stuff with it, trying different pot stands and whatnot. Any other suggestions that other people have? I'll put links to his videos down in the text area. His video on the stove, and he has several other videos on how to make these. Nice sharing of information. This again is Digitizer's Monster Energy Alcohol Burner, or stove, he said. Well, I thank you for watching. I thank Digitizer again for sending Digitizer 101 for sending this to me. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.